Heavyweight World Championship. It is the Philippines versus India, freestyle versus Kushti. Let's go to Tom Lau for our official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Five rounds of five minutes for the one heavyweight world championship. Our three judges scoring this bout at circle side are Thomas Kendrick of Sweden, Rosenberg Rossetti of the Philippines, and Darren De Silva of Singapore. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, he stands at 185 centimeters tall, holding a mixed martial arts record of 10 wins and only one loss. Training out of American Kickboxing Academy. Representing India. Stepping into action is Arjun Singh Bula. Let's go. Let's go. And introducing his opponent out of the red corner. He stands at 191 centimeters tall. Holding a mixed martial arts record of 16 wins and 8 losses. Training out of Alliance Training Center. Representing the Philippines. Get ready for the reigning and defending one heavyweight world champion. Brendan, the truth. And when the action begins, three in charge, Mr. Justin Brown. Athlete center. Gentlemen, you both know the rules. I expect a clean match. Obey my commands at all times. Defend yourselves at all times. Do not strike the back of the head or the spine. Let's watch the low blows. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. Back up. What a stare down between these two men. They could beat a statue in a staring contest. Watch the striking of Brandon Vera, particularly the fadeaway left hook. And watch the wrestling of the Kushti Good. stylist, 58. Traditional form Good. of Indian wrestling. Good. Now 3,000 years old. Round one, let's go. What happens if Arjun Bullock puts Brandon Vera on his back? And let's see if Vera can hit the jaw of Bullock. Inside leg kick, fast start here from the champion. Yeah, this is that moment of truth, Michael, where we see if Arjun is actually going to work those takedowns we like we talked about, or try to put fists in Brandon's face. He's never allowed to relax. He's never allowed to relax. There we go. Muller said he wants to keep this forward pressure on. He does not want to give Brandon De Vera the chance to start coming forward. So he's going to keep that forward pressure until Brandon Vera breaks. Brandon switching to southpaw here. Both men in southpaw starts at the moment. Nice inside leg kick out of Southpaw, back to Orthodox now, Southpaw again for Brandon. The champion has finished everyone at heavyweight. Good low check there from Buller. Double left hand from Buller. Orthodox stance now from him, also from the champion. Long reaching jab from Vera. Buller's doing a great job here with his head movement and moving around. He's backing Brandon up. He's not getting overly anxious, over pursuing, which Brandon oftentimes depends on for those, those counter strikes that he lands. And Arjun Buller become India's first ever world champion. Yeah, Rich, Buller's also got really good parrying tactics. He's doing a good job of defending with his guard and not taking a lot of these shots straight on, which a lot of people have done. And Buller landed a nice little right hand right there. Henry Hooft calling for the jab. Wants the left cross for company. Vera constantly switching stance in this opening round. Good jab. I think this is the most static I've ever seen Brandon. He's typically moving his feet, and this time he's he's planted without hardly any footwork. I'm not sure if this is a strategic decision or if he's making a mistake here. 
typically we see a lot of lateral movement from Vera. He's always moving backwards. He circles around the wall, utilizes the entire space very well. But you can see how Buller turns and cuts off that circle. He's not allowing Brandon to utilize a lot of that movement as Buller again comes over with that right hand. Brandon's going to be careful not to drop that left glove. Buller trying to thread the overhand right. Has come close twice now. Catches the jab as Buller. See how both these guys are switch hitting. They're both staying, changing stances just to give each other a different look. And they're also very effective off of both stances. Jab to overhand right again. Going for the headache maker there, Arjun Buller. Both back to southpaw starts. Jab from Vera. Buller's doing a great job with these little micro movements of his feet. The feint there with the jab throws Brandon on his footwork. First takedown attempt was successful as he turned the corner on the single leg. Brandon Barra's got high level jujitsu here. We haven't often seen it, Mitch, in one championship from Brandon Barra because most of his fights end on the feet. Exactly, and they also end around this time too. They rarely go past the first round and Buller's doing a good job right now of controlling the half, not really trying to pass. You can see Barra is trying to attack the left arm of Buller, he might be looking for a Kimura on that side and possibly using it for a sweep, but Buller's really heavy here in the half guard. Yeah, Buller's staying heavy to keep that, that left arm of his protected because Brandon has that lockdown on that arm. So Buller's doing a good job of like wrapping that out into his waist because if he tries to move, he's gonna pick that waist up inevitably just for movement purposes, and that's gonna open that hole for Brandon to be able to pull that arm out. Let's go, work the finish. You got a minute. One minute remaining, first round set for five in our World Heavyweight title main round. event here at One Championship Dungal. On the edge of their seats in the Philippines for Brandon Vera. On the edge of their seats in India on star for Arjun Bulla. And certainly so much interest right around the world. Let's go, work the finish. Especially to see if Arjun Buller can not only become the first man to beat Vera at heavyweight here, but the first man to become a world champion from India. Kind of a stalemate right now. Go, the referee might stand him back up. No. We only got about 25 seconds, though. You can see Buller, Vera is trying to create some movement, trying to create some pride, but it's hard to move Buller. Look how heavy he is in the half guard. Rich, is there any scoring going on here? No, the, uh, I mean, Buller landed the scoring on the takedown. There hasn't been much done since Ten then. Seconds, work Brandon's to looking for this submission hold, but he hasn't been able to isolate enough to really create any kind of danger for Buller. So this really is a stalemate position. So heel kicks to the hamstring to end the round for Brandon Vera and Arjen Buller. Folks, let us know your thoughts on social media at one championship across all your social media platforms. Interesting first round. We saw Brandon with a successful leg kick there as Buller was coming forward. Good defensive strategy on the feet from Buller, but then this was the biggest moment of that first stanza. He was able to turn the corner, put Brandon Barrett down. Brandon immediately went after the Kimura. Buller settled into the half guard, flattened him out, and was able to ride out the rest of those five minutes. Look at both men in their respective quarters. Second round of five. Rich, your thoughts after the opening five minutes? I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm razor edging this one out to Bowler. He landed the takedown. He was able to control the footwork up top. He landed quite a few of those, a couple of those right hands and a few combinations coming in. It just looked like he dictated the pace in the first round. So, again, this is a very marginal lead. Yes. Hey, what, they'll be going nuts right now in India, watching the star after hearing that Rich Franklin has Bula doing very well in the first five minutes. Maybe slightly ahead, but do not forget we do score as an overall contest, not individually round by round. Jabbed on big leg kick there from Brandon. You can see how Buller reacted on that one. He immediately tried to reach down and deflect that, possibly reaching for the leg kick so he could run the pipe and look for a takedown. But Brandon Vera throws heat when he starts landing those leg kicks. You sense the mercury may be rising from Brandon Vera. He does have 12 finishes in 16 wins, Vera. Three finishes in 10 wins for Arjun Buller. Jab has been tight tonight from Brandon Vera. Very fast, and again, coming from a...
waits. There's the overhand left from Bura. Don't forget, folks. Oh, right hand there from Buller. Stunned him. A beauty there from the Indian. Left hand. There is hurt. The up. Get from Buller and Vera trying to create some space and get away. Two great punches from Arjun Buller. Yeah, Vera's got to land something significant. It's really hard to get a read on Buller because his head is never in the same spot. He's utilizing a lot of feints and he found his moment, came right across with that right hand and wobbled Vera. And the, you know those feints he's using? He's using a lot of feints going down, looking like he's going to do a knee pick as well with those shots. And so now he's got Brandon guessing. He's got those level changes, and it's really hard to get a read. Brandon's got to change things up because he's wobbled a little bit. That right hand keeps touching Brandon. Overhand right, the headache maker, the cranium cracker from Buller. Good stiff jab to the schnoz. Nicely done from Arjun Buller. Brandon now, Brandon now is only throwing punches, single punches at a time. He's not putting any kind of combinations together. I think he's gotten to the point where Buller's got him guessing so much that he's rarely picking up his feet like that for kicks. Overhand right. Outside late kick from Vera. I believe the corner of Buller was saying he's ready to go. I believe a couple of more clean punches on Vera could do the trick. You can never write off the heavyweight champion, though. What a dominant champion Vera's been. As Mitch said, the only heavyweight champion in one history. Body shot. Beautifully done. Tried to fold him in half like origami. Jabs for the right hand. There's the right now. And he take down Vera again. Vera jumps to his knees, Rich. Yeah, he's back the right now. Keep it clean. Keep it clean. This is, once you have Bowler on top of you like this, this is this is control. You see how heavy his hips were before when he, Brandon had him in that Kimura lock, and this is this is gonna be a tough this, tough position for Brandon to get out of. Have a look at Arjun Buller running down the punishment on Brandon Vera. India will be going into a meltdown right now. Is Buller on his way to capturing the world title to become India's first ever world champion? Brandon Vera still here, Mitch. Yeah, he's doing a good job of not taking a lot of these shots. He's utilizing that veteran experience, covering up really well, and not taking a lot of damage right now. You can see he's trying to stand up. Buller's very heavy. Buller's picking his shots carefully not to gas out. He's got about 75 seconds here to really put it on him because the momentum is definitely turning in Buller's favor. Buller trying to manhandle, trying to bully and rough out. Brandon Vera. Vera on his knees again. And he killed the Punjab punches into the side of the head. Yes, there they are. The man from Punjab, India. Trying to run down the blows on Vera. Yeah, Brandon needs either turn into him, quit, quit exposing his back like this. So he needs to either turn into him or he needs to get up off his off his knees and onto his feet. It's an Indian world champion! It's an Indian world champion! And his name is Arjun Bulla! Can you believe it? India has a world champion! India has a heavyweight world champion! Arjun Bulla has done it! Wow! Arjun Bulla just shook up the heavyweight division! We've got a new king of the heavyweights! He was looking good on the feet, finding a home with the right hand, went to the body, and then got things to the ground, did some damage, and was just too much. Rich Franklin, India has arrived. Indian martial arts finally has a world champion. Yes, absolutely. Heavyweight champ right here you guys are looking at, and I'll tell you what, he came into this match with the best game plan you could possibly have against Brandon Vera. He was able to freeze Brandon Vera's feet in the first round. Brandon wasn't teeing off like he normally does, and then he got him guessing. When Brandon thought he was gonna shoot, he would land overhand rights like that. All those feints that Mitch was talking about before, feints with the jab, feints with the knee picks where he would pretend like he was gonna go down and take him down, and then he would just follow up with right hands and wobbling Brandon like this. This was a systematic dismantling. What a way to cap off one championship done goal.
The age of India is upon us here at one championship and it's being led by the big, bald and powerful Arjem Pula who just roughhoused Brandon Vera and finished the now former champion in two rounds. My word. Let's go to Tom Lau to make it all official. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Justin Brown, has called a stop to this contest after four minutes and 27 seconds in the second round for your winner by way of technical knockout and new one heavyweight world champion, Arjun Bula. It's an Indian world mixed martial arts champion.